Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to show you our pet tortoise, Rosie, show you around her cage a little bit, and maybe bring in a new friend for her. Rosie is an African spurred tortoise or a sulcata tortoise and she's about 11 years old and she's been with us pretty much her whole life since she was a hatchling. Bless you. Sorry. She also likes eating colorful shoes. So this is her enclosure. We built it about two years ago, and we didn't want to really dig a fence just because of the hard soil. So what we did is we put a base down of railroad ties on top of a little bit of gravel, and all these four by fours were sitting on the property when we bought it. Hey boy. So we just made it with four by fours, and we use long cabin screws. They're about six inches long to hold it all together. And then we anchored the railroad ties with three foot rebar so it didn't move too much. Sometimes she likes to dig out, so what we do rather than pour a bunch of concrete or something below, we just spot check it. And when she starts to dig out, we drill a hole through the railroad ties and we stick a piece of rebar through and we hammer it down, usually about two feet deep. And that pretty much stops her from wanting to dig out. But most times she doesn't want to dig out. She's pretty happy. And this is Rosie's house. It, her house is actually a burrow. It's not in there. It's actually a burrow that goes down underground. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. <laughs> All right. So inside these little houses are actually just a place where we could store all the electricity. Oh yeah, little frog. Oh, he's gone. We store the sprinkler irrigation controls. We store her heat lamp. Oh, See? One over there. Oh, there's another one. What do you got? Frog. A baby fat frog. You know, it's actually not a baby. That's a tree frog. It's a tree frog. It really doesn't so look like it. that's an baby. adult. Hi, adult. So what we did is we buried a big storage box. One of those storage boxes that you get at like Home Depot. You put your furniture cushions in it, keep everything dry. And we buried it so that when she made her burrow, she could go inside of it without digging out from the enclosure. I'll show you guys inside of it. Whoa, whoa. We could check in and peek on her and look at her. So that's where her actual den is, down below. So we just use this little clay pot to house the heat lamp and keep it from melting anything. One problem we have right here is that this is right by the chicken coop. So we're getting a lot of mice in here. So we always have to set mouse traps and we'll catch them pretty frequently. That's definitely a downfall of this little house. On this side, it's not a den, it's more like a little shady hangout. And we're hoping, yeah, we're hoping that when we get our new turtle, it's going to hang out here and maybe live in here for the summer and then share the den. A rat. I wanna go in Oh, look at that lizard got smashed. Oh man. Yikes. All right, let's close it up. Will you move that stick, low? What stick? That long stick that's holding this up. And just gently set it down in there. All right, heads up. So that's the inside. Well, we decided just to put in a big mud pit for her because a lot of times when turtles take baths, they also go to the bathroom. So rather than trying to keep a pond in here or some kind of bin, we just went with a mud pit so she could come in here. She likes throwing mud up on her shell when it gets really hot. And then we could just let it dry out and 
clean it out, no problem. Sometimes we let her out to go basically graze the property, but you gotta keep a close eye on her because she disappears so fast. You wouldn't think so, but she disappears really quickly. We had to do a double, double gate latch on this because she could push the bottom out. Should we let her out? Yeah. Rosie, you wanna come out? Andre doesn't bother her at all, homeboy. If anything, she bullies him. Then I'm just trying to help her, you know, get across. That's so nice. Yeah. Sometimes I think we should have got a herd of turtles instead of goats, because she does a better job with the weeds. The problem with letting Rosie out of her cage is when you want to put her back, she weighs about 50 pounds. She's really heavy. Something we did that we thought was really helpful was we added the irrigation right away just to keep her grass growing and pretty much feeds herself. Before we even built the enclosure, we built this for the kids just so they could have something to do while we were building it. That's pretty fun. Lily won't let me call it a tree house, so we call it, what do we call this? A lookout. A lookout. And it's a pretty good little lookout. And we can drive our boat. And this is Gazelle, the one bleeding throughout the entire video. So we're gonna get her, yeah. We're gonna get her some alfalfa so she calms down and lets us film. <laughs> her hoof's in my pocket. Hopefully that will keep him quiet for a little bit. So my nephew has a five-year-old sulcata tortoise and we're crossing our fingers that it is a boy because Rosie's a girl and we'd love to have some little tortoise hatchlings. My sister and her family just got here. It's the first time the girls have seen their cousins since the quarantine started. So we're gonna uh, do a little bike ride in. Feed the goats. Good oh, no. Ride motorcycles. Hopefully introduce the turtles and they like each other. All right, Rosie. Your friend's here. There's Tortusta. Go ahead and set a, it down. Oh, it's so much smaller. Oh, yeah. Hey, let's, let's put Tortusta on top of Rosie. Oh. Look at Tortusa's <laughs> like, I'm out of here. <laughs> they did it already, Chris. So I don't know if my nephew's tortoise is gonna be able to stay here. I did not realize just how small it is. I'm worried for a number of reasons. One, it could drown. Two, I'm worried about it getting out of smaller cracks. I'm worried about predators. I'm worried about this beast. I did some research. It said don't put big ones with ones that small. Said he'll bully them and push it around, oh. knock it over. Yeah. Well, what do you think? I think we should take it back. Home. Yeah, we're, we need to redo the cage. A pen. You need to build a pen, dude. Yep. Get to work. I'll get on it today. Bring it back when it's a real man. I will. So I feel really bad about my nephew and his tortoise. I have visions of him bringing over a tortoise, a big male, and we could have a 
pair of turtles and then that part when he got here and we compared their size it was like there's no way this is gonna work and Rosie started pushing him around and I I feel bad I should have done the research beforehand but once that started happening I thought I better go look into this it was fun hanging out and watching my nephew ride the motorcycle and seeing the turtles together but uh, a little sad we're not gonna have little baby tortoises running around maybe maybe another day can you tell everybody to like and subscribe to our channel if you don't like and subscribe the uh, spider will be in your bed tonight <laughs> and hit the bell hit the bell leave a comment leave a comment